What's happening everyone, my name is Alex and welcome back. In today's video we are comparing one of the latest action cameras from Insta360, which is the Go 3 right here, to one of the most popular action cameras available on the market, which of course is the GoPro 11. Now, when you first look at these two cameras, they do look somewhat similar. They have the same shape as most action cameras available on the market. If we look at the DJI Osmo Action 4, for example, all three cameras do look somewhat similar. But the Go 3 here is actually very different. So if we remove this from the magnetic mount, we have the camera in the action pod. So the camera can actually be removed from the pod. And this is the actual camera. So this tiny thing here is the action camera itself. You don't necessarily have to use it with the pod here, but you can use it with the pod, but we'll talk about that later on. So when you look at the GoPro 11 and the Go 3 here, of course, there is a massive difference in size. This is also much lighter. So this way it's 35 grams versus 153 grams for the GoPro 11. So you're gonna be able to take this in more places, mount it in more places and so on because it is much smaller. So more unconventional places to mount this basically. On the back of this, we also have like a magnet. So if you have any metal surface, you can actually attach this without any mount, without anything. It basically attaches to any metallic surface. And that will give you a more unique perspective when you're filming those videos, more unique locations for the camera. Some things that you're not actually gonna be able to do with a GoPro 11. First of all, because it is much heavier and there aren't as many mounts available. There are a lot of mounts available for it, but you're not gonna find a specific mount for a specific situation. Some places where you can actually mount this very easily. So that is one of the biggest differences between these two cameras. This one is much smaller and also much lighter and it will give you the ability to mount it in more places basically. How about video quality? Well, out of the two, of course, the GoPro 11 is the larger camera and of course it has a larger sensor. It can also record at a higher resolution. So the maximum recording resolution for the GoPro 11 is 5.3K, where the maximum recording resolution for the Go 3 is 2.7K. So next I want to show you some sample recording that I've done during the day with both cameras. This so you can see the video quality from both cameras and also the video stabilization from both cameras. I was actually quite surprised how good the video stabilization from the Go 3 is when compared to the GoPro 11. I was not expecting to be this good considering that the camera is so tiny. So with that being said, let me show you some sample recordings basically done at the maximum recording resolution for both cameras. So we can see if you can actually notice a difference in between the two. So let's check those out and I will be right back. All right, we have a quick recording between the GoPro 11 and of course the Insta360 Go 3. For this recording, I'm doing 5.3K at 30 frames per second with the GoPro 11 and 2.7K at 30 frames per second on the Insta360 Go 3. So I'm walking normally and I'm also trying to keep the cameras as steady as possible. I'm gonna stop here, we're gonna pan left slowly and back right and we are gonna turn around so kind of towards uh, the sun right now i just wanted to show you how the video quality would look like from both cameras on a super sunny day like today all right we have a quick recording done in 5.3k and of course 2.7k on the go um, 3. we have a super sunny day out today it is a bit windy so you may hear some wind aside from my voice as well as you can see we have the sea right here and if we walk this way even though we are kind of walking towards the sun we can see the beach as well so just give me a couple of seconds to get there so beautiful view from um, up here and if i spin the cameras towards myself you can basically see me as um, well so yeah, this is how a recording on a super sunny day would look like from these two action cameras. And since I came to the beach, I might as well show you some underwater footage. Hopefully we get to see some um, fish. So let's put the cameras um, in water. So, were you able to see any fish? Obviously, I couldn't see while the cameras uh, 
we're seeing. So we'll check this footage on the computer. But how about video stabilization? So once again, I'm doing 2.7K at 30 frames per second and 5.3K at um, 30 frames per second on the GoPro 11. And I'm currently walking. We have the level of stabilization set to maximum on both cameras. So I'm gonna start um, running just so you can see how both cameras do while running. We're gonna stop here, we're gonna turn around and we'll keep running again. So this is how both cameras would handle movement. So what do you think about those sample videos? Personally, I was quite impressed by the video quality that we got from um, such a small camera. It's quite impressive they're able to get that video quality from this tiny little um, camera. It is um, impressive. Now, if you've watched this video on a smartphone, you've probably didn't actually notice that big of a difference between that 5.3K resolution and the 2.7K resolution, because on a small screen, it's hard to notice those details. However, if you'd be to watch that on a big TV, for example, you're probably gonna notice a difference for that extra resolution that we get from the GoPro 11. But for most people, I don't think most people will actually notice that difference. So basically, if you're into POV videos or point of view videos, you're gonna be able to get really good video quality without having the bulk from a GoPro 11. Of course, you can mount the GoPro 11 on a chest mount, but then you're gonna need to carry that mount around. And let me tell you, people do look at you funny when you have that mount on your chest there. You can carry this on your head, but then you need like a head strap, and this is kind of heavy. And I've done that before when I was filming like e-bike videos. So having this that you can easily mount on your hat, for example, there is even this um, hat accessory that um, comes in the box, so you can easily mount this um, on your hat, and then whenever you turn your head left, right, um, or whatever, you can see exactly what the camera sees. I've actually done a quick recording just so I can show you how that um, works. So let me play that for a second. And just to give you a quick example how the footage would look like if you have the camera mounted on your hat, basically wherever you turn your head, so if you look left, obviously the camera will look left. If you look right, um, the camera will look right. Whatever you do right in front of you, the camera will also see. We are doing um, 2.7K um, at 30 frames per second for this um, particular recording. So basically for the Go 3 here, you don't need that bulky setup that you typically need with most um, action cameras. We even get this pendant in, um, in the box. So basically you put this under your shirt and then this um, camera attaches to the pendant that's underneath your shirt and all you can see is the actual camera. But uh, because the camera is so small, people aren't actually gonna notice it and look at you as they do when you have a chest mount, like a chest mount that um, you'd need um, whenever you're using the GoPro 11. So much easier to carry this with you and basically mount it in easier locations and of course easier to do than actually having that harness with you all the time. Now, of course, if you want to use a more traditional setup, so basically if you want to mount the camera on a tripod or on any system that has a quarter inch screw, there is also a mount that comes in the box and this actually has a quick release system. So you have a couple of um, buttons on the sides here so you can mount the camera that quick. Of course, with the GoPro, you're gonna have to take this screw off, then remove the camera and then put the screw back um, in. Well, with this, you basically take this out. Oh no, my GoPro is falling apart. And the same goes for um, the action pod. So you can put the action pod on that and you can easily remove um, the action pod. So this um, quick release system is much faster than anything GoPro related. For example, um, the Osmo Action 4, it's using a similar magnetic quick release system as the Go 3. So much easier to operate something like that um, when compared to the GoPro. Next, let's talk about the action pod. So when you have the camera in the pod um, here, it becomes more of a conventional um, action camera. Well, in a way. One thing I wanna mention, the action pod here is not waterproof, just the camera itself is waterproof, just like the GoPro 11. So basically don't take the action pod in water. So when you have the camera in the action pod, then you have a screen on the back of the camera, just like you have one on the back of the GoPro 11. Now, one thing I've noticed, um, and I've noticed this when I was outside, the screen on the Go 3 here is actually brighter than the screen on the GoPro 11. So if you're using the cameras outdoors, you're gonna be able to see this screen better um, when it's bright out. So that's um, something that I've noticed um, the other day. Now, what we can do with the action pod, you can actually flip the screen up 
Of course, with the GoPro 11, we have um, a screen on the front of the camera, but this is not a touch screen. It's also a pretty small screen. So when you flip the screen on uh, the Go 3 here, this becomes like a vlogging camera. So you can actually see yourself whenever you're talking. If you have a selfie stick, you can easily see yourself. So this is a much better setup for um, basically vlogging. If you want to film yourself, basically you want to see yourself, you want to um, position yourself better in the frame. Another thing you can do the action pod, and this is something that I haven't actually seen for any other action camera before. So if we remove the camera itself from the action pod, you can actually see everything that the camera sees right on the screen here. So very, very cool. With most action cameras, well, with all action cameras, including the GoPro 11, the DJI Osmo Action 4, you basically have to open your phone, you have to open the app, then connect to the camera and then see whatever the camera sees. Like this, it is much easier um, to basically just remove that camera and you can see on the screen whatever the camera sees. And of course, that is very helpful, mostly if you're mounting the camera in a more unusual location, let's say, because you can frame your shots easier. Now, of course, you can also get a flip up screen for the GoPro 11 here, but you're going to have to buy the media mod and the display mod. So you're going to have to spend about on $160, $170 to have a screen that flips up. So it does become a bit expensive, not to mention the camera becomes quite large with that media mod installed on it. So with this one, of course, you don't actually need to purchase anything separately because it does have a flip up screen as well. I kind of wish the GoPro would have a flip up screen because it would make things so much easier. And since we are talking about some prices, well, the Go 3 here, so if you buy the base model, this comes with 32 gigs of internal storage. Basically, with the GoPro 11, you have to buy your own SD card. So if you buy the base model, this is about $379. So of course, you can get the 64 gig one or the 128 gigs of internal storage version. So the cheapest one is a bit cheaper than the actual GoPro 11 and it does come with more stuff in the box, basically more mounting accessories. With the GoPro 11, you kind of have to buy everything separately. As for battery life, well, on the GoPro 11 here, you can get somewhere around 60 to 80 minutes. It really depends what resolution you're recording at, because if you're recording in 5.3K, you can only get about know, 50 minutes and the camera will also overheat in those um, 50 minutes. So you're not going to be able to get that 50 minutes. With this one on the actual action camera itself, so the little action camera, you can get about 45 minutes of recording, but then you also have the pod. So you can just place the camera in the pod, the camera will also charge, and with the pod together, you can get about 170 minutes. So you're also gonna get better battery life overall from the Go 3 compared to the GoPro 11. As for the apps for these two cameras, well, with the GoPro 11 here, if you wanna take full advantage of um, the app, you do need a subscription. Unfortunately, I do have a subscription with GoPro because it allows me to get the future camera or the next model camera a bit cheaper. So that is really the only reason why I have a subscription. But um, basically, you do need a subscription to take full advantage of um, their app. With the Insta360 here, you don't actually need a subscription to take full advantage of um, the app. Now, personally, I don't really use the apps for either camera. I just um, remove the footage from the camera and um, copy it on my computer and I do everything on my computer. But I find the camera on the Insta360 to have a few more features. It's a bit easier to use. So if you just want a quick um, video for um, social media, for example, I feel that the Insta360 here will do better um, for that. It makes the videos more entertaining. Let's call it um, that. So to quickly conclude this video, and of course, this is just my opinion here. Um, the only thing that the GoPro 11 does better than the Go 3 is the higher um, resolution. And of course, that has a lot to do with the size of the camera, because I don't think it's possibly technologically possibly to have that higher resolution on this camera, at least not now. I'm assuming that in two, three years, we are probably going to be able to get 4K, 5K recordings from um, small cameras like this one. So in many ways, the Go 3 is the better camera than the GoPro 11. It is smaller, it is more functional, and it has a better um, app. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.